I might regret making this video. My name is Johnny. My name is Johnny. My name is Johnny. <laughs> How's it going everyone? Ryan Melnick back here with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about something that we've mentioned before and that a lot of big Shopify dropshippers talk about and that is PayPal. Now what I put in the title here is absolutely not clickbait. I'm going to be explaining what I mean by that title. However, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe, click the like button, and obviously comment below. Let me know what you thought about this video and what you want to see in future videos. Now, before we jump in and get started right now, I do want to mention that I mentioned to you guys before in previous videos that I have a mastermind test group. Guys, essentially what this is, is a group on Facebook. It's a private group with unlimited mentoring from me. I literally go on, do Facebook lives, Literally a few times a week, I answer all your questions, product research, give you products, scaling techniques with Facebook, Instagram, case studies, all these different things. I will review stores. I will help you get to that next level. It's only $39 a month. The application is below, so definitely feel free to apply to that before all the spots are actually taken up. So let's jump in and get started. Why is PayPal not the enemy? Well guys, I just want to mention this real quick. I do have personal experience with PayPal and I'm not you know, slandering them or saying they're the best or the worst company in the world. I'm just sharing my personal experience with you so that you can apply it to your own business and your own life. So you guys might know my story about PayPal. If you don't, I talk about a PayPal hold that I had and how they held a large amount of money for me for a very long period of time. However, something that nobody ever talks about is how generous PayPal actually is most likely if you're doing two, three, four thousand dollars a day, I would say all the way up to four or five thousand dollars per day in sales, you might not have many issues with PayPal. Yeah, they may put a 25% hold on you, but as long as you are updating tracking numbers to every single order that comes through PayPal, you're not gonna have the issues that a lot of other people, the, the bigger people out there have had. Because I didn't have those troubles until I was hitting that at least 10K, over 10K a day. When I was going to 15, 20 and above, thousand, 15 to $20,000 in a day. That's really when I, you know, came across some problems with PayPal where they started to hold 50% of my money and then started to take a $20,000 hold. And then just over time, it got worse and worse as numbers went up. And when I got up to 30, 40, $45,000 every single day, it became a real problem and they ended up holding all of my money. However, all that being said, they're actually very generous. If you're doing two to $3,000 per day in sales and you have a 20% margin, you're making, what is that? $2,000, 20%, $400 a day in profit. You're making good money, you know, in pretty much any country around the world. So like, what is there to complain about? Like you're making two, three, four, you know, five, six hundred dollars per day in profit and they're not giving you that much trouble. Yeah, they're gonna hold 25, 30, 50, maybe even 50%. Okay, but that's just to hedge their risk. Uh, and there's a lot of people out there that are doing some dirty stuff when it comes to Shopify dropshipping. As long as you're careful with that and you're uploading tracking numbers, you will be fine. The problems really occur when you get up to that over $5,000 per day range nowadays. It used to be that you could get up to $10,000 a day and there wouldn't be any problems with PayPal. Yeah, they would hold 25, 30%, but it wasn't a real issue. Nowadays, if you get above that about $5,000 per day range, it gets really risky for them and they're actually gonna start holding your money and you're gonna become uh, an issue to to them a red flag on their side of things. In no way am I saying that I like PayPal. I think they have a product that cannot be reproduced and there's really no competition towards it because there's not a company that can go out there and launch a payment processor system that is literally, you know, that people use globally. Like it's really, really hard to compete with PayPal. But I do think they could help themselves by really just implementing processes to help, you know, e-commerce store owners like us. Like for instance, they don't even tell us we need to upload tracking numbers. They do when there's a problem, but like, you know, what they expect you to know is that you should upload tracking numbers for every single order that goes through your store through PayPal. And they don't ever tell you that. So with all that being said, I'm not saying that PayPal is amazing, but you really do need it for your store. If you take PayPal out of your store, you will be losing money. It's it's clear cut. That That's kind of it, guys. It's it's absolutely of the utmost importance that you have PayPal in your store and learn how to work with them. You don't really have another option when it comes to running ads, you know, to really these other countries. PayPal is kind of the only option. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely feel free to subscribe, you know, click the like button, comment below. Let me know what you thought about this video. And if you want in on my unlimited mentorship mastery program, it's a test group, but it's really, guys, it's unlimited mentorship for only $39 a month. It's an unbelievable deal. I mean, literally, it, I, I shouldn't have to sell it. I'm not going to. So if you want to apply to that, click the link below in the description to apply and I'll let you know if you get in. So that's it for today's video, guys. I will see you in the next video. My, my, my name is Johnny. My name is Johnny. My name is Johnny. <laughs>